assalamu alaikum welcome to civil ideas so today we will discuss about the uh, structure designing of uh, any uh, commercial building so now uh, first we will introduce about the uh, analysis and designing so uh, there is many software that has been used uh, in a market for designing analysis of a structure so we will use uh, csi software for uh, csi software e tabs you can see here this is the logo a tabs 19 and this is the safe which is used normally for foundation you can see here this is safe and this is e tape and this is safe 2000 so we will use uh, today uh, uh, e tape software for designing of a structure okay so we will open uh, e tape software uh, first I will introduce this this is in AutoCAD you can see here uh, this is the building plan in AutoCAD so architect generally uh, made the uh, plan of the uh, plan or 3d uh, view of the uh, any buildings like this this is generally made by an architect uh, architect generally plans the area of the structure uh, that where should be the lounge where should be the uh, rooms all these things and then uh, visualize it in a great way like you can see here so this is generally made by an architect i will show you so you can see here So this is a 3D view of a, a residential a house of a ground plus first floor. So now uh, we will uh, 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 analyze and design one building and it helps that how structure engineer uh, do their job. So now we will go to it tape because uh, normally the structure engineer look to the this plan and then they decide the column the position of columns and beams okay first they uh, assume that uh, here, here we provide uh, one column and here's one column and there's one column so structure engineers work on this plan and uh, based on these assumptions they draw this plan and e tabs and then uh, and e tab they have to Take the analysis and designing. So now we will go to e tape. You can see here I will of the software e AutoCAD. Okay. Now we will open a new model. Now you have to uh, click on the start option. Normally, uh, when you can customize everything, you as customer, you can use either you are working in metric SI unit or customary. So in Pakistan, we generally use uh, US customary, and this is the China code, and you can use any uh, the related code if you are any uh, like in Pakistan, in building code of Pakistan codes are not incorporated in uh, here, so you can choose uh, any. Of this code uh, is not uh, generally uh, given if you are if there is a respective code follow in your country then you can choose otherwise I will uh, use the AISC and then a steel design okay I will use the AIC uh, latest one okay now we will not uh, uh, I will just uh, enter this code select this code but it is generally not follow and the main thing is you have to follow these code ACI codes generally follow for the materials and the ACI 31819 code this is the latest code of ACI uh, generally you can see I will show that the we fall in Pakistan BCP okay BCP 21 code okay this is actually the copy of IBC IBC 21 
this is this is 21 okay and uh, this is further they further follow the uh, for concrete uh, designing like uh, the SEI code just just I have shown here SEI code minimum design requirements is SEI for concrete uh, structures and this is the uh, for loadings we will take a s c e c e sorry we have c so a c e normally 7 uh, 16 or 7 22 is the latest one so we follow these things so bcp or ibc any building codes they further follow the sei code for the minimum design i will show you just okay i will show you these codes Okay, generally I I cannot select this one. So I have to okay, I will show these codes. So this is the SCI code, uh, ASC code, American Society of Civil Engineers. So minimum design, you can see here minimum design loads. minimum design loads for buildings and other structures so this is for the loadings we will follow this these codes okay and uh, for the materials we will use this code aci 31819 building code requirement for structural concrete that is two parts and the second part is uh, commentary on building code for structural concrete okay so these codes uh, because and this is a building code of pakistan I'll show you. this is building code of Pakistan and it refers to the SEI and SE codes for the uh, loadings and for the material properties okay so this is the basic introduction about the materials so now we will introduce a new model okay so AIC 14 Chinese code you can see uh, this one this is not actually work and we will use an SEI code okay so first we use the BCP BCP for uh, building code uh, further specify the SEI and AC code for uh, minimum uh, loads and for minimum uh, concrete uh, properties okay so we will okay this and now you have to choose the grids in x direction in y direction this is in uh, y direction you can see this is the y direction this is the x direction so we will uh, choose this grid only one and uh, then the rest is also flat slab flat plate two way slab you can use but, uh, today introductory class we will use only this one so number of grids uh, lines in x direction we will use okay four it's okay and the number of grid lines and y direction we will choose it uh, five okay and spacing between them you can change it later on but i will use it for 20 and for the uh, y is 15 okay depend upon the project or number of stories we will uh, use uh, six six stories and uh, 12 ha height of the edge story you can 11 bottom story this is the typical story for all and this is for bottom generally uh, take it a uh, little bit more than the typical story but we will keep it all this typical so we will click on this grid only and then okay the rest are uh, as, uh, as per default okay now the models are loading so you can see here so this now uh, you have to define the uh, materials first okay because what materials you are using here like you can delete these things and add your own okay and uh, like or make or generally you can also modify this one like 4000 psi modify show 4000 psi concrete psi concrete okay concrete isotropic okay this default not need 
and this is the specific weight of uh, specific density 150 pound per cubic feet or cc density uh, mass per unit weight if you click on this one then you have to choose this one okay and this model of, of, of elasticity normally it is a formula uh, for for pci is 50 57 thousand under root fc prime fc prime is the uh, uh, compressive strength this is the uh, fc prime 4000 then you will find the uh, modulus of elasticity okay and further poisson ratio this is uh, by default is uh, okay and this is a thermal coefficient that is generally uh, not needed to change because in specific uh, project uh, you if you have given the value then you can uh, change or if there is any uh, material that it is, doesn't understand then you have to change the, the value shear modulus these are the same okay so this is uh, 4000 you have to uh, keep it here so i have already um, the uh, specify these materials that's why all the uh, values normally same non-linear material density you can use this is for non-linear modeling and it is advanced topic now we will don't uh, we will not discuss in this lecture okay this is io immediate occupancy okay and this is for the uh, earthquake okay don't change these things for normal uh, building structure okay now we'll, okay so this is your material 4000 and for uh, steel you can modify this one okay like you can see uh, edit rebars this is just the name 60 60 grade okay rebar you can select it is there a rebar and this is the 490 pound per cubic feet okay and this is the modulus of elasticity okay and uh, you have to uh, check these things modify show uh, materials you don't have to uh, okay this is uh, normally by default minimum yield of uh, steel as 60,000 and and the uh, ultimate strength of uh, steel is 90,000 and this is uh, uh, you can see here this is uh, and this is you can see here this is kept at same I have already defined these materials but you can change it if you have uh, not defined it material damping generally we use uh, 0.05 damping ratio but uh, I will not change these values okay so this is for non-linear okay and 4000 psi rebar these two materials will be generally used in our case and you can uh, so 4000 rebars we will use this one okay this your material is specified and this is a section property because uh, if you are selecting a beam then uh, which uh, for for beam well, i will show you like these are the default value okay and uh, you can change it later or you can uh, filter it for just a concrete like rectangular okay so you can add new or just modify as we have seen in the case of material add copy of property okay now we will or you can uh, just click on uh, add new property okay click rectangular this is a rectangular concrete and okay and this is the property like we have to use the beam so beam as we will get it's 15 by uh, 30 okay this is the cross section so depth is 30 and uh, the width is 15 okay and now and this is the stiffness modifiers generally we take it uh, about the 0. Point Three five four beams. This is zero point three five four beams, and torsion you can also because sometimes it creates problems. Zero point 
three five okay uh, so now this is the uh, advanced topic we will discuss at in any other lecture uh, but it is generally uh, we reduce the uh, uh, strength of the uh, material uh, to crack and uh, it will then quantify the uh, steel in this uh, section so that's why we have to use these things uh, normally for slab it is different values and for column it is different now we will see it so modify show rebar so this is beam you have to click on the beam this is on column you have to click on beam and this is top bars cover to longitudinal rebar okay so this is generally the uh, 2.5 2.5 this is not the clear cover but it is uh, generally the you can see here this is the effective core like this is the concrete uh, steel so this from center to this level this is 2.5 okay so this is generally we taken at uh, like this now yeah the rest are kept as by default okay so you can see so the rest are same let's click okay now we will add another new material for columns Okay, for column I also choose rectangular okay I will column 4000 psi you can choose it like uh, concrete uh, 18 by 24 this is the okay sorry 18 and 24 this is the height and width so you have to 24 this is the depth and this is the width of 18 for columns and for stiffness modifiers we will just normally use 0 0.75 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 okay we reduce this uh, thing to uh, Crack the section and use that is uh, to not uh, displace the structure. Mm. Or I will also it is kept as torsion constant. Generally, torsion constant we will uh, use for the over strength uh, factor in over strength uh, or sorry over strength uh, over stress when your structure is. Uh, or stress then you use this now uh, we will not change these things if you have to change uh, these things like you to provide eight number of bars in columns like this eight numbers and this is eight numbers or six number any type and you can choose this and the two direction and the three direction you can uh, give this value then you have to click on the reinforcements to be checked that what you have provided and the software to be here have to be checked these values but now uh, we don't uh, consider these things uh, and we allow the softwares to uh, be designed the reinforcement okay so the rest are same rectangular ties and this is the rebar material okay so you have to just click on this so this is your column okay 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 stiffness modifiers everything so now we have defined these two materials okay this is the frame materials frame property okay first we have uh, defined the materials and then section properties frame property now here to go to the uh, uh, slab okay so slab we will modify these are add new i will modify this and it is generally six inches okay six inches and four thousand psi concrete you can uh, use any if you define any other concrete here then you can choose but we have defined only four thousand psi then you have to check this one so shell 10 you have to select on shell 10 for the concrete uh, for the slab okay if there is a raft or uh, a bigger uh, cross section and thickness is very high uh, like uh, for generally for raft we 
and then we will select the shell tech and for membrane you can select membrane but uh, shell 10 as uh, selected generally for the finite element analysis okay and the rest are same this is slave okay and this is eight inches things but you have to select six inch it's the thickness of this slab okay uh, any other material you use that uh, maybe a shear wall so i will proper shear wall you can design at any other section so now we will draw these things what we have as uh, defined now first we will define select the columns so this is quick draw columns you can also select it from draw this so this is the menu quick draw column and you can select it yeah, sorry first you have to select it from here In which column you have to select it 18 by 24 okay and uh, you uh, want if you want to change the orientation then you can add here the degree like 90 degree then your orientation will be changes okay like this but i will keep it zero not needed okay so this is your column in one minute so you can also do like this okay now you can see here this is only draw and the 3d view you can see this only the uh, one floor so we will uh, first construct the one floor and apply the loadings and then uh, we will replicate to the other floors okay now i will define the beams for beam this is the quick draw beam you can select this is the frame property so beam head is 15 by 30 you can just select it and now uh, we have to slabs so these are the type of slabs you can also do like this one by one click on here and here and here and here and again at the starting point so this is the slab or you can just do it if your areas are rectangular or regular and you can same select just like okay sorry we have not i delete this one click and delete and then again click on this and then you have to call these uh, areas okay so this is step section Okay, I think this one will be okay. So now it's been defined. Now we will apply the loadings. So for loadings, you have to select the first, we will define the load patterns define the load patterns okay so this is the dead load live load and you will also apply a um, earthquake load eq x okay so and here you have to uh, assign the uh, loadings like ACE 7 16 so this is the area that we where we have to uh, modify and we have to uh, apply the loadings okay sorry there is load patterns Q seismic and here we will use the code ACE this is the minimum designing load criteria and new okay now you can modify this loading 
either in x direction or in both direction so i will do I'm just in x direction so the rest are same you can specify this this is the time period and this is the class uh, so generally you have to take these coefficients from the codes s1 and ss short period spectral acceleration at uh, one second uh, spec uh, spectral acceleration you have to uh, it depends upon the area you have to select it from the uh, building codes building code of pakistan site class that also depend upon the area and you have to uh, take these coefficients and if you select this one and then their coefficient will be automatically changes okay it depends upon the site areas generally for the uh, soil tests and after that calculation of factors these are generally same and story for uh, seismic loads story six if there is uh, above only at the last floor only uh, water tank then you can use it uh, for story five okay but now we will do it response modification factor uh, so this is uh, generally for buildings and uh, depends upon the structures okay now i will show you our strength factor okay this is uh, normally three four buildings three or five and this is normally five or eight it, uh, uh, you have to take these factors from the codes okay and this is the time period time periods generally love formula you can also use like uh, 0 0.009 h divided by under root and the uh, direction like x direction or y direction the building um, like distance or dimension and x direction like if you are building an x direction is 40 feet then you have to uh, here the 40 feet uh, and it will be time period for the x direction okay so this is the general formula i think it is 0 0.09 h divided by upon root okay so you have to Get these values from the code now i have just uh, apply these values as it is uh, because uh, we have to just check the uh, behavior of the structure and, and the basic things about the building designing uh, so you have not to be uh, confused about these things okay and now i will just okay but i will apply just in the x direction okay so i what i will do here modify okay the x direction so this is one the x direction this was one the y one okay and this will i will be delete this one so now i will select the x one so i will just click on the x direction and this is for the y i will click on the on the y okay so now we select this okay and now there is i will show you these factors here i point in my diary and i will show you these what is the value that we have taken for the uh, these deflections in the other factors so response modification factor is generally we have seen here generally it is from three to five okay so it depends upon the buildings so we will keep it three Okay, and uh, the occupancy factor is one for general building for populated building like hospitals in others it will be 1.2 and for special buildings 1.5 okay so all these things you need to keep in mind and, and the response uh, r factor it depends upon the uh, either it is 
uh, uh, MRF ordinary moment resistant frame special moment resistant frame so it depends upon these things okay so you have to uh, we will keep it five for okay for intermediate intermediate to normally it is taken is 4.5 i will take it so and for omr if it is taken is three okay so i will keep it as three okay and the time period i have shown you you can use just at default but you can also buy the formula okay and these things we will define from the codes and this is long period this is also from the codes and the qi this is in the y direction we applied and this is we will give it ordinary moment resistance frame and this is the deflection amplification factor this is also uh, from the codes it depends upon the structure the rest are same okay you have to check again and again that how you apply the load and x direction or in y direction okay now we will click it and um, okay, you can also apply it a uh, wind load okay like wind here but uh, as I have choose only uh, six floors, so it's not needed for six floors and above six floors seven, eight, nine, ten. Then uh, it is safer to uh, include the van load also. So now we will okay. Now uh, define the load cases. Uh, yeah, shell nodes sets. You can also load these things like general, general slab general load i will just but dead load is equal to 40 on per square inches and a live load is equal to 50 i will add it here dead load here it is 40 the above i given it this is just his name okay so that you can identify so and the live load is uh, you can see 50 you can also find it from the uh, building codes this is the building codes and and chapter 16 chapter 16 there is a structure designing and all the loads for the specific structure for specific criteria that is mentioned there okay so you have to select it chapter 16 uh, this is the structure here you can find the load this is the uh, uh, ss ss1 and that i have discussed in the uh, ac the earthquake apply load this is the building codes for different areas okay soil loads everything you can use it okay and if i found loads okay this is the live loads there may be a table given okay so here's the okay and i will show you the table that has uh, generate the load given this is the reflection criteria i will show you and the generally we will uh, check the serviceability for serviceability we will check this uh, l by 300 and for uh, long term deflection we will uh, check the l by 24 240 okay. so this is the building code you have to use it this is the uh, loadings okay now access floor apartments uh, armories and assembly areas this is the 50 per square foot 100 per square foot okay dining rooms restaurants 100 per square foot so this is uh, about the these values so i have generally taken it as dead load and live load for slave okay now i will select it for the uh, stairs area stairs dead load is equal to normally cap it is 40 and live load i will 
suggest this is uh, 60. Okay, so dead load is 40 and live load is and is 60. Okay, it may be more depend upon the structure. Now we will just practicing it. Okay, now for the the other loads we will also add another one for the mount areas or HD or head so dead load equal to so this is the water load uh, we will take it is like 100 okay it's generally more than 100 and the live load we will cap it is point seven five or five okay we'll take it a hundred and i will take it this one is point five why point five i will reduce the fifty percent of load because the uncertainties uh, that is taken place in the uh, overhead or a tank that maybe water not present there then maybe an overturning of the structure or uh, maybe occur a failure of overturning so if there is no load on any structure like you can consider if this is the water tank okay so first it is fill of water and then have, uh, water is not present there so that's why we will take it 50 percent live load so that it can be stable against the overturning or lateral forces okay so this is the general concept now i would like it okay so this is the three general phenomena okay general loading so now load cases you can you have to check that what uh, cases you have uh, created and load pattern that will be shown in the load cases so you can see eqx eqy model model generally not needed in our case so delete this one and okay the rest one is okay now the uh, load combination load combination you can use at here but now it's uh, generally required for the designing after analysis we will load the uh, generally we will load the default the default or concrete frame default and what user combination and this is the default load combination okay you can also check it this 0 0.1 and this one and you can also add these are the loads you can see dead load live load eq so what uh, what type of load we have discussed then so they have converted it into the uh, com different combinations and depend upon the criteria and now uh, we will um, mass source so what is mass source mass source is generally the uh, to lump the mass on this on that slab at the center of the slab so that it move at uh, uh, um, uh, one material uh, for when it moves and the due to earthquakes or any lateral forces like a rigid body okay so that's why we just mass source uh, name is kept it and we will click on these things and the first two elements will be self mass generally we take it and there and generally the uh, dead load is take uh, it is one and the okay dead load is one and live load you will consider it's uh, 0 0.5 okay 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 I live load and okay now you have to check this one this is the uh, damping ratios okay for five percent damping you will consider minimum five percent damping Okay, this is the mass was defined. Now, uh, what other things? So first, you have to all uh, define all these things. Okay, first you have to work on these defining areas. There's made a lot of things that have to be do in the in the software. But now you will just in a simple structure for you know, simplicity. So now uh, we will assign this. So assign. These loads to the slabs okay so we will select all these slabs 
I have kept these two slabs for the stairs. So I will consider it there, there is a stairs or kept is this one as a stairs. So that's why. Okay, okay, okay. This is for stairs. So now I will assign the forces loads, shell loads, uniform set. So now general loads, we will take it as the general loads you apply these loads okay now uh, for this area you have to assign the stair loads this is the stair loads okay now stair loads so the monkey or the stairs you can also at the top uh, you can remove these things and you have to just get the uh, or headwater tank loads here but now i have removed I kept uh, I apply all these loads so you can understand you can also apply these loads in a farm load like you can define it here dead load gravity how much load you can define per foot like 40 feet and gravity direction and when you apply then it will be applied to the this load okay like I will apply in here then you will to select this one and select shell uniform then you can select uh, 40 or just have one pound just for the replace the there's no add to existing so i will apply it okay so i just apply it has the rest one is 40 and there is 41 okay you can do it uh, other things uh, that we can do is uh is on the diaphragm okay so the diaphragm okay where is the shop okay, sorry diaphragm so diaphragm you have to design the diaphragms so that rigid so you have to now you have to select a full slab and then design the diaphragm so what is diaphragm diaphragm is equal to the uh, lump the whole mast at the center of the slab and it will uh, act like a rigid body it will constrain the the uh, moment along this point so the basic function is that to constrain the moment of along this point so this is the center of rigidity or center of stiffness of this uh, structure okay if there is a different uh, Center of stiffness or center of mass is different from of this structure, then there will be a factor of irregularity comes. But now this structure is simple. Uh, what other you can design shell loads? Shell loads, okay. Uniform, non uniform frame loads. You can also uh, apply uniform loads on the walls. Like you have to select this beam and you have to assign the walls frame loads distributed. Okay. And here you can add the values like here's the wall of uh, 11 feet height, multiply uh, point 0.75 thick and uh, 120.12 yeah, per foot. And this is the uh, uh, density of the machinery so it will be apply on this areas but now i have not applied it here generally i applied the slab load so it's okay now uh, we will replicate this floor the other floor area okay replicate this is the here is this so so replicate where is the duplicate option i didn't find okay this is the duplicate and edit we'll again in story I have a story this is the sex story so i have to replicate it to the story one okay at the base this is the foundation so i will delete original no keep it original one so okay you can see here 
you can also add up a shear wall admit i have not added here but you can do that like remove this one and you can draw walls or this quick draw walls i have not defined the wall you can define first define the wall mm, frame property okay and wall sections so you can modify or add new wall shear wall okay and specify type okay and this is there is a same shell 10 yes this is shell 10 or also you can yes shell 10 and uh, thickness of the wall is one feet and you can see it here okay now you can draw the wall Uh, shear wall like this okay also you can use the other option get this one this is generally we use this one okay I will so I will use this one for shear wall. You have to select the all all the stair all the stories. So, so all story here. You can also change the units. Okay, so you can to the next floor. Okay, and this is you can select. similar stories okay some problem I can't select okay now I select it now I remove the this one or oh, now I will click on this quick draw wall and I will click on this and the dimension is kept as what is dimension here 20 feet and to 15 so i will cut this 20 and 15 okay 20 and 15 and the height is um, you can take the left up, uh, door height is seven and open white the door is open is four feet okay so now now you have to place it now i will show it here so i will change the dimension a little bit Nineteen point five, and this is fourteen point five. Let's check it, and this is the rest are same. Okay, not need change. This may be create a problem. You can also so now if you click on this it will create it toward the structure but it will create some problem you can see here now so i will remove this one and i will draw the quick draw column okay so i will just uh, this one okay So here I will, you can choose an opening. So this, this area will be an opening, okay. 
this area will be in opening okay you have to select like click on the slave and then select on opening this is the opening okay so you can see here all the things now you have to go to the base okay this is the base how you have to go to base this one this option now you have to select all these and you have to assign the joint as fix you have to restrain all these so you have to select and fix so now your structure is fixed okay and now uh, you don't want to waste the time so now we will go to okay i have some problem so now we'll select okay i have selected all the stories so you have to select only the base for one story so you have to select now and now you have to design the frames and now only at the base that is fact supported and now i will in uh, to analyze it and analysis oh how i did i didn't uh yet hit save so just to capture this model you have to uh, save the model at the very start i forget to save it because it can create a problem at the mid f then your all of your data will be wasted okay, you can see here so now you will go to these stresses okay, what is seen so i didn't uh, we have to define the uh service combination load service combination here so that it will be easy for us but we will discuss it in the uh, any other video so this is the uh, dead load and displacement you can see here it's very minimum you can check it here now the bending moment diagram m33 okay for dead load or for combination you can use it any combination or for load cases this is m33 moment you have to check it and click on okay so this is the moments okay this is the moments now you have to click on this click on any this right click you can see here this is the maximum value of your many moment which is far less than the uh, specified values and this is the you can see you can scroll it like this you can check it everywhere this is the shear moment deflection and you can also use for any load cases okay maximum you can see here for load combination so this is the strength load combination so that's why it gives you more value so you can check it like these stresses uh, for any displacements in z direction and for dead load only okay you can see here here at the corner you can see the, the maximum and minimum values so the reflections are very less and other shell stresses you can see here this is the shell stresses in plane and out of plane this is the out of plane stresses so in the form shape and click on okay okay so you can see here this is the cap bar for this is the shell stresses that's why it's showing cap per foot okay when there is the displacement then then uh, here you can see here when there is displacement then it will be shown here is uh, in inches and when it is stresses then maybe pound per uh, inches or pound per foot so you can uh, change these units here this is the units consistent units you can change it from here now this is the joint stresses i will show you at the base on the offset y are all the stresses so this is only for the you know you can you can also here and see it here on the z direction generally for uh, foundation designing we uh, copy this uh, base reaction and uh, export it to the safe uh, 
software to design a foundation okay and now i will show you any other stresses moment torsion then i not needed shear stresses this is shear stresses right click and you will see all these values space stresses maximum dead load are many you can see other load are eqi okay you can uh, second one third one you can see at the corner i change this is the shape of the building then you can see so the stresses you can see here at due to lateral forces so eqx now and due to x i will start the Okay, I will click on it. This is on Y. On this way, you can display the uh, show tables or response, story response. This is the story response. You can see here. So this is the response uh, for maximum story displacement and this is the dead load. So for dead load, I will show apply the AQX. For maximum displacement, you can see you have to, this is one point, okay, 3.7 at maximum 3.7 inches in this here maybe uh, this due to x okay now we will apply due to y so the red uh, color for y and the blue for the x okay you can see uh, 1.4 so for uh, y it is less because you have seen the uh, dimension of the structure in y it is uh, the longer structure and for x it is a little bit shorter so that's why and y it is uh, x it is seen to be high displacement you can see here three inches now there's a certain um, restrictions in the course that what type of uh, how much is the uh, limitation of these uh, values so for this this uh, deflection when you have to uh, Check the deflection so deflection uh, generally we check by l by 300 or uh, l by 350 and recent codes so what is the l so if your l is 20 then you have to multiply it with 12 to convert it into inches and then divided by 350 then whatever value you got like 0 0.0 8 or 0 0.8 then you have to check the maximum deflection at the corner here at what um, uh, deflection your slab is so in that way you have to check with the codes all these values that either your structure is uh, safe or not then you have to go to the designing if any values uh, high beyond the codes uh, then you cannot design the structure safely so you have to first uh, validated these values according to the uh, structure the uh, uh, designing codes building codes okay now uh, anything else so now you will go to the designing grid frame designing we design preferences so this is generally kept it's uh yeah, it is a some design category i will keep it as c generally you don't need to change but uh, you have to change it as per the 
uh, project okay these are there's some factor that you have to change it uh, for the project okay but now we will just consider as default select design combinations we have select all of these so if there is any combination at this side then you have to convert it into there now we will just here start design check okay now it will design the frame members like beams and columns refresh the window yes and uh, okay refresh the window I will show you the value of the okay now you can see here okay I'll close this window and you can see here this is the rebar uh, ratio and the top and bottom and this is in top and bottom for beams at the ends and at the mat okay so uh, no columns all the columns are seen uh, pass because if there is fail any uh, column then there will be right uh, over stress os generally here okay so you can see here the all the columns are seem to be pass you can see all these values you can also check it in the plan view story 2 Okay, you can see here these are the rebars values and according to this these values you have to detailing your uh, members okay now I will uh, design the composite shear walls or yeah okay, I will check the shear walls I think we have not they have not the system displacement okay okay all these you will keep it it is not changed but it will be can be changed for the some projects for detail analysis now uh, for the design of shear walls i think they didn't take the values or it is not selected maybe we will try to select object type and walls okay now I will show show only selected object. So this is the walls. I will select it. I will check it. Either it can then maybe there is some problem. We will not pro uh, design the properties properly. That's why it cannot be designed. So show all objects. Okay. Now we will design the slabs. Oh, so slabs. You have to you have to check the references. This is okay. 0.9 for tension control for compression 0.65 and 5 for, for shear you have 0.75 these are the values and this is the start design just select load combination you have to select all these load combination okay 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 now design slip and time to check any other start select start design all floors okay okay now you can see here this is the stresses and this is the values of the reinforcement per foot top re rebar re intensity you can see here Top rebar intensity and now you can check it from here also like slip display punching shear not calculated punching shear we not consider any display flexure design super flexure designing 
was minimum reinforcement you have to click this box that this affair can impose the minimum reinforcement so this is the top bar or you can select the bottom bar in one direction and so this is the reward percentage uh, area per foot you can see here in direction one you can also go to the plan any story you can check it so you can see here so this is about the you can check it also about you can check the 3d and to the frame structure your design check information about the internal bars selecting internal bars or you can check it uh, you can start design check select design display beam design display design information and check the rebar percentage so this is the percentage you can see here 0 0.3 0 0.31 so now you have to check it uh, that it is either according to the codes or not the minimum reinforcement and the uh, maximum reinforcement so you have to check it according to the codes these values and for the slaves also this is for the slaves design flexure design and you have to check the bottom top bottom top reinforcement for direction two okay the maximum here you can see 0 0.59 okay and just per fit so this uh, you can see that and you can detail the uh, these uh, and the and autocad or detailing so uh, generally first uh, uh, in the previous version there is a detailing option here but now it's removed and it's uh, separate software csi detailer which will give you uh, the detailing now this is the display you can uh, see the table reports like the project summary okay so i will this is the project summary all the details are complete have tables model definition frame assessment frame result design data like design preferences any type of table you can see it from here and the form shape shell load design so this is the shell load design the form shape supports reactions shell stresses you can see it here model this is the model so now i have unlocked the model and i will change uh, the top story and i will uh, remove this opening the shear wall and also the uh, surrounding floors uh, I will select one story, select this one. So I will remove this one on the apply the uh, roof to the left area. Okay. Take care to select device. Okay, now delete it. Now we will go to the plan to the set story. Okay. Click on this area and delete. The opening is removed. Now we will go to the all story and also uh, remove these beams because here is shear wall so don't it's not need of the beams also we don't need these columns in these areas and generally uh, these beams are attached to these shear walls and we uh, design the releases but now I uh, kept as it is the columns. So now I will uh, try here the slab, but only for the one story in the top. So you have to keep in mind these things. Now go to the slab. 
so yeah, let's get this constructed now okay so now you will design a lock here the stairs are in another location but i will apply uh, the overhead load head or the tank this is the loads and I will also select the select select anything so go to select and object type so I have to select the walls only so select walls and apply okay so all are selected now I want to show that show on the selected objects okay now I go to 3d so now I Design as we define the peers. So generally, we uh, to the share wall we design the peers. So it's another concept. Okay, labels. So you have to add these labels. If there's a default, there is only P1. You can add it just like like. So this is P3. I'm just to add it to P6 uh, and add new like this so, okay now you have to select the surface so, add one one side like this is the share one one side back side and this is the another side this is the other side so you have to sign the pier one to one side pier two to other side uh, and like it and uh, go to uh, here's maybe in the shell or frame Okay, frame element so pier one design it to pier okay now I'll check it will not taken I'll run it select right click and sign in and pier and here you can select click pier one okay now you can check okay here is designed now it is second you can also both are select so I will just pause story and right click assignment peers you can also apply any type of properties like this is a section property share wall you can change it depend upon the elements okay now this side I will design the pier tree. This is a, a post concept for how to design the piers and pier uh, spandrel. So pier spandrel generally apply to the uh, doors or the doors uh, to the coupling beams and uh, the, about the doors of the shear walls. Okay, now you can check it here one it is not assigned so this is the area this is okay it is designed now I will go to show all objects and I load the all deep light now uh, we will check analyze it first you can check the analyze check model okay so okay this is model is ok now run analysis It'll take some time you can also apply a rapid wall here you can see this is the deflection so by hovering at any point you have shown the videos this is far beyond this what uh, formula I found it L by 300 or L by 350 so the reflection is far less than the limiting value okay now we will directly go to you can see their building moments on the same thing but the um, designing now I will go to Select design combinations. Okay, so 
ਨੂੰ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਆ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਕਲਿੱਕ ਸਿਲੈਕਟ ਕਿ ਜਨਰਲ ਕਿਸੀ ਰਿਬਾਰਸ ਇਨ ਬੋਟਰੀ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਫਰੇਮ ਸੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਸਕੇ ਪਰਸੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਰਿਬਾਰਸ ਇਨ ਟਾਰਗੇਟ ਐਂਡ ਚੈਕਡ ਦੇਅਰ ਸਾਈ ਬਾਰ ਪਰਸੈਂਟੇਜ any member cause failure you can check the failure after it frames past the design check okay now we'll go to the share walls so let load combinations first we have shown that we didn't uh, seen this or lock these all options but now it is okay you can check the appears or any option that run so your preferences you can modify it and share wall so this and check so share wall is designed you can go to the share wall properties direct design slider info here dc ratio and power edges like should be in first mint generally not your enforcement ratios are not okay this is the ratio 0.0 maybe see here so according to the CI peer uh, tuner enforcement ratios you can see in all these properties identify any failures let me try to show here any problem generally this uh, okay like these issues so the dc ratio has less than 1 so it's okay you can see here the other was are designed or in the plan okay dc not showing but the dc ratio should be uh, less than 1 demand uh, divided by capacity ratio now we will go to the design of the slabs and you have to check the load combination is ok and go to the design select design check so slab is designed ok so now minimum reinforcement you can check the bar percentages from here this way great 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 you can check any type this thing auto repowers we have seen it ok so 0.03 these are the percentages we have for edges square per feet so that's all about the analysis and design of the uh, structure so if you have any question you can comment in the comment box okay so further and this detail uh, the structure will be detailed in the uh, an autocad or any other software you have see side detail software okay these are the four steps we have seen in, in this lecture okay thank you if you still have any question you will discuss